In the women's strawweight division, we had some Yasmin on Yasmin violence. We did. Bro. Uh, somebody help me pronounce the first Yasmin's name. Haregi? Haregui? Haregui? I don't really remember. Yeah. Haregui. Haregui. Nice. Haregui. Uh, te- who took on Yasmin Lucindo and defeated her by unanimous decision. Mark, give me your take first on this Yasmin versus Yasmin matchup at Women's Strawweight. This was a great scrap. Another one that was randomly placed on the card with two debuting women, uh, but they delivered. I would be really interested to see both of these girls again, including Lucindo, despite the loss. Uh, they each had a lot of interesting qualities. Lucindo is a bit of a zombie. She just kind of walks through shots, throws with big power, which you don't see that often in, in women's MMA, like that style of fighter. So that was kind of cool to see. And then Haragui just has some beautiful technique uh, offensively while also being tough as hell in, in her own right. So that thing was a scrap um it's hard to tell the level of each of them with them having fought each other like both being debutantes so it's hard to gauge exactly how good they are but howard we certainly looked impressive and and uh it'll be fun to see her in there again against someone who we who we know and see how she stacks up omar give us your reaction to this war i loved the shit out of this fight i absolutely loved it um Haragui has hands from the literal depths of hell. Her hands are so fast. Her combos are so disgustingly prepared. Um, Lucindo reminds me of like, I don't, are they in the same weight class? I don't, they are in the same weight class. She reminds me of Amanda Lemos. It's exactly who she reminds me of. She fights almost yeah, the same that's way. Yeah, actually solid. She almost looks like her to a certain extent, to be fair. The haircut, I think, is almost exactly the same. Um, but they, <laughs> they fight very, very similar to one another. Very power heavy, uh, very reliant on their hooks and, and, and kind of s- like putting all of their weight on their, uh, on their bodies when they, when they throw their shots to, to get that full power. Haragui was not that. Haragui was light on her feet. Her quarter turns were, were so goddamn perfect. Her strikes, again, were amazing. The fluidity of those combos. I mean, she wasn't throwing one-twos. She was throwing one-two, two-threes, threes-fours. I mean, she was mixing up all kinds of nonsense. She threw head kicks in there. It was it was a brilliant, brilliant striking performance, I thought. And to be fair, both of these women were banging with each other. And and it was a, it was a very back-and-forth fight. But I thought overall, through all three rounds, frankly, Haragui had the more... Uh, effective strikes the sharper strikes she was getting more strikes in uh against lucindo lucindo's strikes were a lot more loopy i would say and haragui's were just a lot tighter uh, and they were getting in a lot more I, I, I can't say enough things i could honestly go on with it for this fight for like an hour but haragui is fantastic i i we definitely need to see her back again um i frankly would rather her already get tossed into somebody who's got a little bit of a name to her. Um, I just, I see so much potential in the way that she fights that I just, I, we we really need to see where she's at because the, 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 the talent in this division sometimes can be so far and few between when we get to that level that when we see somebody with that kind of potential, I just need to know if it's legit or not. So Mm -hmm. can't wait. Since both of these ladies debuted against each other, do you guys have any sense of what you'd want to see them do next in terms of matchups? Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, take a stab. I, so Haragui, as good as she looked, as high as Omar obviously is on her, she is only 23. I believe that might have been her ninth fight. I would have to check that. Um, oh, actually, Correct. I have it open. I was yeah. just thinking. Yeah, ninth fight. Um, so I, I don't want to go crazy. I get it. She looked really good. It's tempting. I'd like to to at least throw her in there with someone who has UFC wins. So I'm sure Omar's going to be disappointed in my name. I'll say Sam Hughes. She's won two in a row. She has become a real scrapper. She can box. Obviously, she doesn't have hands per se, but she is a willing boxer. It has worked for her. She can obviously wrestle. She's a tough girl. I think just that type of a test, someone who we've seen can win in the octagon, is all we should be doing with Haragui right now and making sure that she continues to impress. 
but I'm sure Omar's got a bigger name over there. Yeah, Omar, take it. It's really not a, a bigger name so much more as I, f- I feel like a name that people are a little bit more familiar with, and it would really be coming off of a loss that she just had. I think Lupe Godinez would be a good fight. Um, I think it would allow Haraguy to sort of show off and play. Um, I think she's significantly a better fighter, but I do think that, that Lupe is far enough in the in the rankings ahead of her at this point that it's it's worth getting into. Um but I do think it's a fight that Hadagui can win. I think it's a fight that Hadagui can get a, a highlight off of, and we can keep that train rolling. Okay. I like it. I just, I'm concerned of would she get taken down for 15 minutes? Like, we don't, we have no idea what her wrestling defense looks like. For, for me, though, hmm. that's like, and, and, I, and I think I get your point of you want to kind of slowly work your way up there. I need to know. I need to <laughs> fucking know now. Like, if Loopy Fair. can take her down. If Loopy can take her down to that extent, then, you know, we got to work on it. I'd rather her work on that kind of shit now. Like, and I've talked about it before where I'd rather these girls and these guys get these losses in now, get them in early so that when the real fights come, the fights that are the, you know, the $200,000 fights, the, the pay-per-view fights, the fights for the belt, the fights for the, the number one contender, that's when you're not getting all of a sudden sunned on the ground because you've never been tested. Get that shit in now. Mm-hmm. And I'd rather her see it now and us see it now and see where she's at so we can properly, you know, analyze where she goes from there. But as of right now, I have no reason to believe that she loses to Lupi Godinez. Okay. 